Uh, my name is Evion Kim. I'm lead machine learning engineer at Mattermark. So the interaction was really good. So I've been to some other talks as well, but the, the people's willingness to like know about what I'm talking about, that, that enthusiasm was like much higher than the average I would have expected. I got a lot of questions and a lot of follow-up questions after like my talk, so I had a hard time coming back up here because there are many people like asking questions and stuff. So I like that level of enthusiasm. Uh, data is so cool and exciting because the fact that we are using the data and trying to come in with the better future is like not a new thing. It has been like that for like centuries. Maybe like even from the origin of species that has been the case because we learned from something from the, our past history and trying to apply it to the future. So that's the natural thing. But it can be done in much better, faster, scalable way these days. Thanks to the, all the devices we have, we can collect more data, we can have better understanding, and we can apply it for the, creating the better future in much massive scale with better accuracy. So things that we have been doing so far can be done in much better ways. That's so exci what's exciting about data. Here. So the Part that I wanted, the part that I want to emphasize from my talk is that so there are a lot of talks about the machine learning, about deep learning, about the data infrastructure, and what's the like better usage of it and stuff. But how to actually using this kind of machine learning solutions on the real world problem? That connection seems to be less, slightly loose compared to the other ones. So I wanted to give a talk about that in a way that I had this problem, I turned it into the machine learning problem by dice, slice and dice it and applied like this, this insights for it. So that's my intention of the talk. And whomever interested in like how to solve the problem using machine learning can get benefit from it, I think. So the term data scientist itself is kind of vague these days, just like machine learning or the big data, like it's pretty buzzwords. So whenever some company says they are hiring data scientists, actually if you take a look at the job details, like whom they are trying to hire is all different. Someone is trying to hire the data analyst, someone is trying to hire the machine learning personnel, someone is trying to hire the data infrastructure engineer. So if you want to be data scientist and if you want to be great one, one piece of advice that I can give you is have some capability on engineering itself is really necessary. So coming up with insight, coming up with model, that's all great thing. But when we're talking about the industry, not about academia and data scientists are the ones in the industry. So you need to be able to ship things and make it productionized. And for you to do the productionized, you need engineering power. Either have it yourself, that would be very helpful. If not, you can, when you're being interviewed for the data scientist, the company with data scientists, taking a look at what the culture is like, how the team is formated, formulated in a way that, if that team itself has some other engineers who can build the things you ship, you want to ship, that would be great. So bottom line is, in any way, you need to have some engineering capacity that you can put your hands on. That's the answer.